2015 was a year full of many changes for PUD3. District leadership participated in a strategic planning process which helped us to prepare for and focus on several significant projects coming our way in 2016 and beyond. This spring's Fiber Broadband Expo was an exciting event to raise awareness in our community about PUD3's fiber optic network and the features it can provide to enhance the quality of life here in rural Mason County. Nearly a thousand people participated. Guests had a chance to meet a retail service provider that is new to our network, check out some new products offered over our fiber network such as IPTV, and cast their vote as to where they want us to build fiber next. Extending our fiber network in preparation for grid modernization allowed us to reach several underserved communities. This fall we were able to provide the infrastructure to serve the residents of Lake Nawatzel with high-speed fiber optic service to their home. This winter, a contract crew is installing a similar distribution network to serve the Haven Lake and Wooten Lake communities in North Mason County. In November, we energized Mason County's very first community solar project. The 75 kilowatt solar power system is located on the roof of Building C at the Johns Prairie Operations Center. Approximately 110 PUD customers will be reaping the benefits of energy produced by the solar array, including a Washington State production incentive and federal tax credits. Nearly 2,900 solar units were allocated to customers who had registered to participate and collectively pay for the project. Customers signing up for the program requested nearly twice the amount of units that were available. Community Solar was just one way we relaunched our solar and net metering program this year to ensure we remain the preferred source for all of our customers' energy-related needs. Sparky the Danger Bear made regional news. In October, a small black bear cub scaled the fence to the BPA substation in Shelton and wandered around the high-voltage equipment. BPA substation staff quickly de-energized the equipment to save the bear's life and reduce the risk of damage to the said equipment. Wildlife officials were able to capture the bear using Krispy Kreme donuts as bait. Sparky the Danger Bear is now doing well at Idaho Black Bear Rehab. We've made tremendous progress in our LED lighting conversion. We've upgraded about one-third of our HPS lights to LEDs and have added new lights to the previously dark alleys in downtown Shelton and in the Education District on Shelton Springs Road. In addition to battling through our own storm damage, we sent crews to provide mutual aid to our public power neighbors at Snohomish PUD and Cowlitz PUD. Our engineering and operations folks worked hard to complete two extensive underground rebuild projects at Russellwood and Oak Park. The new cable should offer these residents reliable service for many years. We also performed a line extension and made fiber available to the abandoned runway for the Port of Shelton to serve this year's new location for Oysterfest. Future work on underground power lines will be completed in-house by our new dirt crew. We've been working with the City of Shelton to replace the banner hanging program. We purchased LED reader board signs and Randy built two beautiful structures for them. They will be installed once the city completes site preparations. PUD3 is no longer hanging banners for the city. Customer service made progress on several impressive metrics that help the utility to serve our customers better. We currently have 6,455 customers enrolled in paperless billing, which saves the utility about $45,000 each year. Over 13,000 customers have an online account with us. The average time a customer spends in the customer service phone queue is as short as 31 seconds. Thank you for holding for 31 seconds. How may I help you? Public Power Week was a festive time around PUD3. The Education Committee hosted hundreds of Mason County 5th graders at the Johns Prairie Operations Center to learn about public power, renewable energy, electricity safety, and telecommunications. This is a tremendous investment in education of our future ratepayers. Our art and photography contests feature 12 lucky winners. This year's theme was Power of the Sun. This year's second annual Shuck and Share 5K was another smashing success. We had 238 registered runners. Over $3,300 was raised for project share. 45 raffle prizes were given out. We had over two dozen volunteers giving their time and great fun was had by all. The facilities team worked with the Mason Conservation District this summer to install woody debris in Johns Creek to help restore salmon habitat. PUD3 employees had generosity on full display this year. 
Employees pooled their resources to provide Thanksgiving feasts to 12 Mason County families who could use a little lift this holiday season. Employees also set a new bar and raised over $19,400 for United Way. We also rallied together again to provide presents for 27 Mason County foster kids. This year we hosted five blood drives organized by Marky D. 114 registered donors gave 96 pints of blood which could help save 288 lives. 2015 was another tremendous year for PUD3. It's no wonder we've been nominated for the Shelton Mason County Chamber of Commerce 2015 Business of the Year Award. Items we accomplished in 2015 were only possible because of the teamwork demonstrated by each and every employee at the utility. 2016 is now here and I have the highest level of confidence that we will continue to work together with excellence to meet the goals that lie ahead of us.